Hey, what's up? It's Dave. And today we're going to talk about whether or not you should buy the Nintendo Switch OLED edition. Now, you know the OLED is a hot ticket item. A lot of people are buying it up. But do you really need one? Well, it really depends on if you have a Nintendo Switch right now and how much you value the changes. So let's compare the different models and talk about it. So what is different about the OLED? Well, let's take a look. So right off the bat, compared to, it's going to be $50 more than the other switches, which is, um, well, it's $50 more than the regular switch. And that's $150 more than the Switch Lite. Let's take a look here. It has the handheld mode, TV to handheld. The Switch Lite does not have that. It comes with Joy-Cons, the Switch Lite. It's all proprietary on the Switch Lite. There's no Joy-Cons. Let's take a look. It's a bigger screen. It's OLED. It weighs a little more. It has a bigger storage than the other two models has the the highest battery life if you are serious about the handheld version of it and that's essentially it so you're getting double the storage a nicer bigger screen and it's not mentioned here actually there it is yeah it has a LAN has a built -in wired LAN port in the dock so It depends on what switch you're looking for. Now let's talk about the Switch Lite. My advice for the Switch Lite, don't get it. It's for a hundred dollars more, you get so much more with the other two, with the other model. You get it. Why would you just want to be stuck in handheld mode? You don't want to use your dock. You don't want to take advantage of this nice TV that you may have invested in. The Switch Lite is a no-go. That's my opinion. I wouldn't even be considering the Switch Lite right now. Now, the regular, now if you have a Switch Lite and you, and you really, you want to start to play, to play this on your TV, I'm going to recommend go for the OLED model. It's $150 more and you get, and you the fact that you have a Switch Lite means that you want to play handheld at least 40% of the time. Well, now you get to play handheld on a much bigger screen and you get to enjoy a better battery life. The games are going to look better. And then you have the option to play on TV. So if you have a Switch Lite, get the OLED. If you're considering a Switch Lite, don't get it. Get one of the other two Switches. If, if you want to play handheld more than having it docked, get the OLED edition. Now, if you have the Nintendo Switch, I, I, per, I do have the regular Nintendo Switch. Personally, I'm not going to upgrade to the OLED. It's not really much of an upgrade, and my Switch is docked all the time. For those two reasons alone, the re there's no other changes other than the screen and the storage. I have a lot of physical copies of the games anyways. I do a lot of my gaming on on computer. I don't use um, Switch. I only use Switch for Nintendo title games. So the hard drive doesn't really matter to me. The screen doesn't matter to me too much because I'm always on the go. I'm not, I'm Excuse me, I never game on the go. I am always on the go, but I don't game on the go, really. And if I do, I have my cell phone. I'm not interested in busting a whole entire Switch on my day to day. It, it, it's one of those things that just seems impractical for my lifestyle. I would like to play docked. I will actually bring my whole situation to a friend's house as opposed to setting up, setting up a stand and playing that way. So... If 
I sound a lot like you. You play docked a lot. You don't really play other games on the Switch because you have other consoles or you have a computer. I'm going to say don't upgrade. Keep your Switch. Save that money. Don't do it because you'll have to either trade in your Switch. You're going to lose value when you trade in the Switch. It'll probably probably get 200 bucks. Then you have to find that $150. For essentially something that's just going to stay dark anyways, it's not worth it. Uh, the LAN port is nice, though, but it, it's really, in my opinion, it's not worth it, but it's your call. And then, of course, if you don't have a Switch, I would say just go for the OLED model. I would just choose that one because you're getting all the features here. You're getting that additional big screen. You're getting the latest battery in there. You're getting double the storage. For fifty dollars more, it's not it's not um as opposed to close to three hundred, maybe you can get this a little cheaper if you get it used or refurbished on Nintendo's website. But I would just go for the the three fifty. It's if you're if you're coming into nin the Nintendo consoles at this stage in the game. So just to recap, if you have a Nintendo Lite and you game seriously on that thing and you're all or you're portable a lot, I'd go ahead and I would trade that in. You know, maybe someone will give you some money for that, and then I would go to the OLED model if you have it in your budget. If you're a serious gamer, you're using the Lite all, all the time. You want to open yourself up to that dock. You want to open yourself up to that nicer screen, that better battery, and all those other features that come with the new OLED model. I would upgrade, and I would never look back. If you have the main switch, if that's a tough call, I would personally wouldn't upgrade. If I had the main switch, it's a no-go for me. But if you want to do handheld things, if you have it in your budget, you like the double storage and the land, the land thing as well. And you just want to, you know, flex and have something new, then maybe that's for you. Maybe you can go ahead and upgrade your Switch. Me, I'm not going to do it. I don't recommend it. And then, of course, if you don't have a Switch, I would just say go for the OLED. Uh, you do get the, the battery type. You get the, the nice screen. You get the double the storage and the LAN stuff, which should have been, you know, the storage and the LAN thing was a major complaint for a lot of consumers because it, it's, you know, 32 gigs for gaming in 2017 to 2002 current is very limited you actually have to buy a lot of the physical copies or you have to install and uninstall games so the 64 gigs helps it's a step in the right direction a small baby step in the right direction but i would definitely invest in that bigger hard drive i would invest in the screen size and i would invest in just the new technology the new battery and just pay that $50 more and you'll be good to go. Uh, so that's my recommendation. No switch, get the OLED. If you have a regular switch already, hold on to that. If you have the switch light, upgrade to the OLED. If you play Nintendo games a lot or plan to. That's everything for today. I hope this video helped you out with your decision if you're on the fence. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Also, consider sticking around. I'm going to post some more videos like this that I know you'll find useful. Until next time, cheers.